Hi everybody and welcome back. We are here in the city center at St. Petersburg, Russia and I want to give you a few tips on what not to do in Russia. I think that the number one for me right now is to let you know that if you don't like crowds, don't come to Russia in June, July, or August because the tour season is very short. Only the June, July, August is when most of the tours buses and most of the cruise ships come through the Flemish Bay and everywhere you go there's going to be a crowd and I don't know if we can get the camera around but you can see the tour buses that are behind me and so if you are not a fan of crowds or long lines I suggest that you either come on the shoulder seasons of May and September and you might be able to avoid some of the crowds but if you come June, July or August just come with a good attitude and you're going to love St. Petersburg. It's a beautiful city and there is, there's so much to see. I just hope you enjoy it as much as I I'm at Peterhof Palace just outside of St. Petersburg, Russia and letting you know that if you don't want to leave your valuables with the coat check ladies don't bring your backpack because they don't like them and I suggest that if you want to wear a crossbody bag or a small satchel that'll be fine however if you do bring up a, a backpack they are going to require you to check it and I wouldn't want to leave all my valuables in it but I wanted to give you a heads up remember when we were in St. Petersburg it was 85 degrees and the sun was shining. Well now we're in Kitschke, Kitschke Island and it is 66 degrees high today and so I want to let you know that when you pack don't pack for summer pack for whatever weather it could come up and mostly that is rain and pretty cool. I would say that the low tonight will be 56 so be sure to pack layers. Don't just pack for summer. Remember this is August and it is pretty cold. I'm wearing two layers. I have a top and a jacket so layer up. I am in Yugoslav, Russia, and I wanted to give you a definite no. We have heard from several travel consultants that the, it's very wise not to photograph either the police or military personnel or military officials or military installations. So that is a definite no, don't do that. Uh, I'm not going to test the system and give it a try for you, but um, I recommend that we follow uh, the professionals and avoid making those photographs. I'm on a bridge that is above a canal just uh, outside of the city center of Moscow and I am I'm realizing now that we are not going to find that the Russian people are outgoingly friendly. However, it's just not in their culture to smile at strangers. So uh, when you come to Russia, be sure to remember not to be insulted. It's just a cultural uh, difference between us that they do not smile at people they are not familiar with and uh, we, we we continue to smile at them but they're unfamiliar with us so they're unsure why we're doing it so do not be insulted by that uh, cultural difference. When you come to Russia do not come unless you know a few words of the Russian language. Please and thank you and yes and no goes a long way and that goes for any country that you visit. So be a good traveler and learn a little bit of the language in Spasiba.